<laughs> What's your other one? Yes, I had them now, but I don't know what Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. On this rainy Wednesday night, praise God. So good to be in God's house. I've come looking for rain on the inside tonight as well. Amen. Praise God. And uh, again, it's so good to see each and every one of you tonight. We want to go to the Lord in prayer as we open up service tonight. We have uh, got several needs that we need to take before the Lord tonight. I want to uh, pray for Brother Roger. He is... Uh, Still in the hospital, uh, they moved him out of the ICU uh, this morning. Uh, he, uh, they put him in the ICU last night because of the beds in the hospital. Uh, all the beds are full uh, in the hospital with people with the flu and pneumonia and uh, other sickness that's going on. Uh, but they got to move him out today, and it's doing some better. But uh, we want to continue to pray for him uh, that God will continue to touch his body. Also, I want to pray for Sister Rhonda, uh, neat. Uh, she had uh, had a fall yesterday, and I want to pray for her. Sister Jackie, share with us. I know they was going to the orthopedic this evening. Share with us what they said. Yes, amen. Amen. Yes, amen. Just remember this tonight. And also continue to pray for Sister Jenny McQuarrie. Uh, checked on her today, and uh, she's she's not doing well at all. And uh, the fluid, of course, has come back on her. And uh, Sister Jenny needs a miracle tonight. Yes. She needs a touch of God, so we want to pray for her. Anyone tonight on my left-hand side has got an urgent request tonight. Amen. Several still got this flu that's going around. So I'm going to pray for them tonight. Anyone else? Amen. Continue to pray for Brother Buper. Sister Judy, I want to continue to pray for her. Yes, amen. Let's remember this tonight. Anyone else tonight? Remember my brother in prayer. Amen. Let's remember Take this. Heart, amen. Let's remember this tonight. Yeah. Anyone else tonight? Amen. Anyone on my right tonight has got an urgent request? Amen. All those in a sport request by the raise of hand, if you will, stand with me all over the house tonight. Let's pray together tonight, if you will. Lord, we come before you tonight. Lord, with thankful hearts, so thankful, Lord, to be in your house once again tonight. 
Lord, for this great blessing that you've given to us once again to, to come together, Lord, and to lift up holy hands and to worship you in spirit and in truth in this house tonight. God, we just pray for every need that's been spoken tonight. God, you've heard every request that's been given tonight, Lord, and saw every hand that was raised signifying an unspoken need tonight. God, we pray that you touch and minister on behalf of every need that's in this house tonight. God, we pray for every need. Lord, that's with us by way of live stream. Lord, you see those needs tonight. We pray, God, that you touch and minister to those needs tonight. God, we just pray, Lord, for this service tonight as we commit it unto your hands. We pray, God, that not our will, but that your will shall be done in this house tonight, God. Lord, we pray through the songs that sung, through the ministering of your word tonight, God, that you touch and minister to the hearts and needs of your people tonight. God, we give you glory. We give you praise and honor for what you're going to do. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Let's put our hands together tonight. Give the Lord praise. Let's worship the Lord. Amen. When the redeemed are gathering in. I am thinking of the rapture in our blessed home on high. When the redeemed are gathering in, I will raise the heavenly anthem in that city and the sky. When the redeemed are gathering in.
with trouble and care. Bring on and on, for God will answer your prayer. When Paul and Silas both were thrown in jail, they did not worry who would go their bail. But on the prayer bells they began to ring. All fell the stocks and they began to sing. Praise the Lord. We want to worship the Lord in our giving tonight. Amen. I want to ask that you prepare your hearts to give of your tithes and offerings tonight. Amen. This is another part of our worship, the way that we worship and glorify God and thank Him for our many blessings tonight. Amen. Praise God. If you will, stand with me one more time tonight. Amen. Let's prepare our hearts to worship the Lord tonight. Brother Gary, if you will, bless this offering tonight, if you will. Praise the Lord. Let's worship the Lord tonight. Amen. Just a couple of quick announcements tonight uh, for those of you that's, that's got uh, kids in the Family Life Center. Uh, you will pick them up at the end of service. You'll pick them up at the Family Life Center with the rain uh, coming down like it is. They're all going to stay across the way. So at the end of service, and you want to go uh, pick up your child, go to the Family Life Center to pick them up. Amen. Praise God. How many knows what's taking place this Sunday? Amen. Praise God. Sunday morning, we're going to come together and we're going to worship the Lord. We're going to celebrate the goodness of the Lord and reason for the season. And then Sunday night is going to be our youth and adult plays. Both of them will be taking place in our PM service Sunday night at 630. As you can well see, they're getting ready. And uh, they've been working hard uh, for this play, been practicing a lot, and uh, uh, I know they're going to bless our hearts uh, Sunday night with this, so uh, you want to uh, uh, prepare and get ready, bring your family, uh, bring your friends, amen, invite them to come and be with us. I believe we can fill the house Sunday night, amen. I even believe we can fill it Sunday morning. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're looking forward to a great time in the Lord in both of our services Sunday morning. And Sunday night, amen, praise God. Somebody got a word of testimony tonight. Amen, the Lord's blessed you this week. You want to tell him the goodness of the Lord tonight, amen. Anyone? 
Praise God. You folks is quiet on me tonight. Amen. We locked the tore the house down Sunday night. Amen. Praise God. Anyone got a testimony? Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. That's our God. He's still a healer tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Someone else tonight got a word of testimony. Come on, Brother Gary. Yes. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. 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 Yes, amen. 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 Praise God. Word of mouth. Amen. Word of mouth. Amen. Praise God. People, to go along with what Brett Gary is talking about, people will listen. At times you don't think they're listening. They are listening. And uh, word of mouth is a great witness. Amen. And living, being a living testimony. Amen. People seeing the light of Jesus burning on the inside of our hearts. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Amen. Praise God. Someone else tonight got a word of testimony. Yes. That's right. Amen. That's right. Amen. Praise God. That's right. Amen. Yes, yes, amen. That's right, amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The child of the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Amen. Give the Lord praise tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. One more. Somebody give me one more tonight. Praise God. Praise God. Yes. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Have your Bibles tonight. Stand with me. Amen. Let's go back to the book of Romans. Last Wednesday night we talked about uh, the God of hope. And tonight we're going to talk about the God of peace. Amen. Romans chapter 15, verse number 13. Amen. Praise God. I'm going to try to, to shift down into lower gear tonight. That's not easy for me to do, but I'm going to try that. Praise God, because I want to share some things with you that the Lord's laid on my heart. Amen. Romans chapter 15, verse number 13. Then we'll be going to Philippians chapter 4, verse number 7. So if you want to turn there. That's where we'll be going afterward. 
First place, we're going to Romans chapter 15, verse number 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Amen. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Notice what scripture says. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace. Somebody say peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Now let's go to the book of Philippians, if you will. Chapter 4, verse number 7. When you have his, say amen. Praise God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and your minds through Christ Jesus. Paul said, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report. He said, if there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Notice what he said. If there be any virtue and if there be any praise, think on these things. Those things which you have both learned and received and heard and seen in me. He said, do, do those things. And the God of peace shall be with you. And the God of peace shall be with you. Let's pray together tonight. Lord, we come before you tonight. We're so thankful. Lord, for your touch, so thankful, Lord, for every testimony, God, that's been given tonight. Lord, we're thankful, Lord, for your healing touch tonight. Lord, we're thankful for your delivering touch tonight. God, we're just so thankful, Lord, for your word tonight. God, that keeps us and sustains us, Lord. And we just ask, God, for the next few moments, God, that you would touch, minister to the hearts of your people tonight, Lord, through your word tonight. And we give you glory and we give you praise for it. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Praise God. Amen. You may be seated tonight. Amen. Praise God. Brother Jeff, if you'll keep it at Romans for me, I'd, I would appreciate it. Notice, notice what, our, what our text says tonight. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and with peace. How I many knows tonight that it is the will of God, it is the desire of our Heavenly Father tonight to fill you with all joy and with peace tonight. Amen. Notice what the Scripture says, in believing that you may abound in hope, through the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, we, we have never lived in such times as we're living in right now. People is disturbed on every hand. People you talk to, just like Brother Gary's talking about, the, the, the gentleman he was talking about, people that you talk to, lost people, is searching, searching for something. Because they, they realize, I've got a void, I'm, I'm missing something. And the scripture tells us, you can follow along with me if you want to, in Isaiah chapter 57, verse number 21, this is what the word of God tells us, there is no peace, there is no peace, saith my God, to the wicked. Only the child of God can experience this peace of God that surpasses all understanding, that will keep our hearts and keep our minds through Christ Jesus, our risen Lord and our risen Savior. Amen. I'm thankful tonight that in these disturbing, chaotic times tonight, that I've got the peace of God that's, that's in my heart. My heart tonight is full of the peace of God. And it is, it's the peace of God that's in my heart that keeps my mind in a peaceful being. People's minds today is disturbed. 
Amen. People is in chaos in their minds today, troubled in their minds. But aren't you thankful tonight for the spirit, for the peace of God that keeps us, that keeps us, that keeps our spirit and our minds, amen, that keeps us focused upon the goodness of the Lord and keeps us calm, amen, in a, in a trouble and in a chaotic society today. Amen. Because the Bible tells us it is the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. That's what keeps our hearts and our minds. But people, so many people in this world today is not calm. But they're unpeaceful. What is peace? It's calmness. Amen. Calmness. Amen. Peace is being calm and just at rest. With what's going on, praise God. We can be in the middle of a storm as a child of God and still have the peace of God. Still be at rest in the storm because of the peace of God. Amen. Notice what Mark's Gospel chapter 4 and verse number 39 tells us. It says, He arose and rebuked the wind with the disciples in a storm. And he spoke to the sea and said, Peace, be still. The wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Don't you know? He's still the peace speaker. Amen. It said he's still the peace speaker. Amen. He can speak to your troubled mind. He can speak to your troubled spirit tonight, and he can speak peace to it, and there can be a calm. Just as the wind ceased, just as there was a great calm, I want you to know tonight that our risen Lord, our risen Savior, that baby, praise God, that was conceived of the Holy Ghost, born of a lonely virgin, he's still a peace speaker in the year of 2022. Can somebody say, Amen tonight. Amen. Praise God. You can have peace tonight. Amen. Praise God. But I've, I've never seen, never seen this world in a condition that it's in right now. Amen. People so unsettled. People that has no peace today. But I'm thankful for the peace of God tonight. Amen. And notice, you know, me and Christy was talking about this today. That any time that, uh, that a baby is born, that there's, there's great peace with that. Amen. It's, it's just a, a wonderful thing. Amen. As you well know, it's a wonderful thing, but it's a very peaceful thing. And that's reading in Luke's gospel, the birth of our Savior. Amen. There was more than just a, a baby that was born that night, but peace was born as well. Amen. Notice what the scripture says. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be unto my people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest on, and on earth peace and goodwill towards men. Praise God. When our Savior was born, peace was born as well. He brought peace with him. I want you to know his peace is still alive in this year that we're living in right now. In this state of being we're in right now, the country and the mess that is in, the chaotic mess that is in, praise God, we can still have the peace of God, amen, that keeps our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus, our risen Lord and our risen Savior, amen. Praise God, amen. Now notice what he tells us in John's gospel, chapter 14, verse number 27, verse number 27, he said, peace I leave with you, my peace, he says, I give unto you, not has the world given that's the trouble today. People trying to find peace in this world. You're not going to find peace in this world that will keep your heart and keep your mind. Praise God. That will bring calmness and rest in your heart and bring rest under your home. You'll not find it in this world. Amen. It don't exist in this world. There's only one that you can find in it, and his name is Jesus. Praise God. I said his name is Jesus. Praise God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost has a peace. Praise God. That if you're troubled in your heart, troubled in your mind, you can find peace. I feel the Lord in this place tonight. You can find peace through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. You can find peace in him tonight. 
Amen. He said, my peace give I give unto you, not as the world giveth, but give I unto you. Amen. The peace I give unto you. Praise God. People, you know, they're, they're, they'll come to my office at times throughout the years of my pastoral ministry. And, 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 and I'll do everything that I can to try to be a blessing to people and try, try to help people. But, but I can't give them the ultimate peace that they need for their situation. Only Jesus can bring that peace and that rest to their hearts. Amen. Notice, and the peace of God that shall surpass all understanding. That's what keeps our hearts and our minds through Christ Jesus, our risen Lord and our risen Savior. That's the reason the scripture says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. Praise God. Stay full of joy. Stay full of the peace of God. Praise God. These are attributes of the fruit of the Spirit. Stay full of it. Praise God. It's God's will. I said it's God's will. It is his desire to fill our hearts, praise God, with his joy and with his peace in these last days that we're living in, praise God, so that we may abound in hope through and by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Can somebody give him praise tonight? Amen. Praise God. It is his desire. To fill you with joy and to fill you with peace. Amen. Notice what he said. He said, my peace, my peace, I give unto you. Not as the world giveth. You can buy everything in this world and still not be at peace. Be the richest man on this earth and still be a man of most misery. Amen. But he said, the peace that give I. Peace I give unto you. He said, give I unto you. So let not your heart be troubled, he said. Neither let it be afraid. Praise God. Don't let your heart be troubled in these, in these chaotic times we're living in. I was in Sam's yesterday getting some, getting some things for the church. I was looking at, looking at prices. Just, you know, just looking at prices. And not looking at things that, that I wouldn't even buy but just looking at prices, and prices, inflation, prices, and things, it skyrocketed. I mean, it's unreal how things just jumped in price. Amen. And people, people is, 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 is panicking. And like I talked about last Wednesday night, people is, is becoming troubled by this. But notice what the scripture said. He said, my, my peace, I'll leave with you. My peace, praise God. This all make you want to shout. My peace, I give unto you. Not has the world given. Praise God. You know, this peace I've got tonight, the world didn't give it to me. Praise God. And the world can't take it away. Praise God. I said the world didn't give me this peace I've got, and the world can't take it away. Praise God. He said, don't let your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid, but let your heart, praise God, let it be full of my joy and my peace. Praise God. So that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Somebody give the Lord praise tonight. Amen. I ought to make you want to shout tonight praise God amen he said these in John chapter 16 verse number 33 these things he said I have spoken unto you that in me you might have peace in Christ amen my peace doesn't come from the world but it comes from Christ Praise God. That in me, he said, you might have peace. In this world, you shall have tribulation. But be of a good cheer, he says. I have overcome the world. Praise God. Hallelujah. I'm an overcomer tonight. I said, I, I'm an overcomer tonight, Brother Paul, because I'm full of the joy and the peace of God. Hallelujah. His peace is keeping my mind. His peace is keeping 
keeping my heart, praise God. And then therefore, I'm an overcomer while people are spread abroad and in a panic stage looking for answers. I know the answer tonight. And the answer is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. He's a God of peace tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I was in Sam's yesterday and it was it was madness in there. Madness. It didn't matter what aisle you went down, it was full. Cars running everywhere. And you know, you want to see if anybody's got peace, you'll find out if you get in their way for just a second. Amen. I was going down the aisles, and I got looks every time. I went down the aisle, and I was like, excuse me, ma'am, or excuse me, sir. Praise God. I, I'm just, just looking. I won't be here in just a few seconds. Just need to grab this and go. People, people don't, this world don't, don't have the peace you and I have got tonight, and they need this peace. They need Jesus. Praise God. When you get Jesus, you see, if you don't know Jesus, you don't know peace. No, no Jesus, no peace. But when you have Jesus, you have peace. Praise God. I said, when you have Jesus, you've got peace. But I thought about us. I was in there and just going down them aisles, and, and, and I couldn't tell you. I couldn't tell you how many looks I got yesterday. And, and I wasn't doing nothing. I just down the aisle just like anybody else was. Just standing there and looking at uh, items just like anybody else. But I had people giving me looks. And I just standing, I standing looking at looking at an item, and and this lady, she just finally said, uh, "Excuse me, sir." And I was like, "Oh boy, praise God! I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get beat up right here, praise God." But I, but I said all that to say that this people don't have peace to this this world, it's trouble. Never seen conditions like what we're seeing right now, and the reason is, is no peace. Praise God. Only Jesus has the peace that you and I need. Only Jesus can bring peace to this troubled world. Praise God. Only Jesus can bring peace to a troubled family. Praise God. Only Jesus can bring peace to a troubled home. No Jesus, no peace. But when you have Jesus, hallelujah, when you have Jesus, you can have the peace of God that surpasses all understanding and his peace. Praise God. Somebody say his peace. His peace will keep your hearts. His peace will keep your minds. His peace will make you an overcomer if you just allow the God of hope and the God of peace to fill your heart with all joy and with all peace. You will abound in hope through and by the power of the Holy Ghost and shall be an overcomer in His power tonight. Amen. Can somebody give Him praise tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Because the Bible tells us in Romans chapter 8 and verse number 6 to be carnally, carnally minded is death. Mm -hmm. Now notice what scripture says. For to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. Praise God. Now, I want to ask you a question. Now, what have you fed? What have you been feeding your mind this week? What have you been feeding your heart this week? Think about it. Because what, that, what you feed your mind and your heart determines how much peace you're going to have. Because the Bible says to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. That's the reason Paul tells us in our text in Philippians, that's the reason that he said, Finally, brethren, whatsoever things, I'm just reading the, the latter part of this verse, are of a good report. He said, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Don't you know it could be worse, a lot worse than what you're going through? Amen. 
And we we first we first bought our house. It it had uh, it had it had a couple of leaks. And um, you know, we we got we got the one leak stopped, then found another. We got his stopped, then we found another. But that third week, I was looking for dynamite. And I know none of you is like that. I know. Yeah. I, I told Chris, I said, how many leaks is in this house? Anybody ever dealt with anything that just, you didn't know if he's ever going to get stopped? Anybody ever been there? I mean, any, anybody ever dealt with anything ever troubled you? Amen. But, but, but you know, it, it stayed on my mind. I thought, it, it just keeps pouring. I don't know what Dad said. I don't know if we're ever going to get it stopped. And, but it, it just stayed on my mind, and I had to check myself. You know, it could be a lot worse. Amen. We, we had, had, a new, had a new roof on it. It was already on it. I said, you know, we could have had to replace the roof on this, so it could be a lot worse than what it is. But, and I said all that to say that you got to be careful what you feed your heart and feed your mind. If you're always looking on the bad of things, you're never going to be at peace. Amen. Hello. I said, if you're always thinking on the bad of things and you never see any good and you never see any praise in, what, in what's going on around you, you're never going to be at any peace. Amen. So I had to check myself and say, Lord, thank you for the roof that's over my head. Thank you for making a way, Lord, that we can buy our home. Amen. A home for the kids to, to be raised in. Plenty of room. Praise God. Thank you, Lord, for the roof that's over our head. For the home that you have blessed us with. That's what I had to do. Praise God. That's what I did. Say, Lord, forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for picking at these things. Lord, I thank you for your blessings. I thank you, Lord, for what, you, for what you've done. And I praise you for what you're going to do. But you've got to be careful what you feed your heart and feed your mind. That's the reason Paul said, Bro brothers, it, what? Anything that's of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, that's what you need to think upon. If there be any praise upon it, he said, think on these things, praise God. So that when you think upon the goodness of the Lord, his joy, praise God, I said his joy and his peace will fill your heart and will fill your mind. And you can abound through hope, through and by the power of the Holy Ghost, amen man. You can be an overcomer. If you feed your heart and feed your mind the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Now, what have you been thinking on this week? Anybody, anybody had, had a rough first part of the week this week? Anybody? Well, we've got a couple. Amen. Amen. That's it. That's it. That's That's right. That's right. Amen. And it and it fills our heart with peace. Brings peace. Amen. Just like Brother Gary said, that's that's what the Lord wants us to do. Is think upon his goodness. Think upon what he's doing. Praise God. Think upon what he's going to do. Amen. So, you know, in those, in those times that you say, well, it's just not. It's, I've had better days than what I've had today. Not been the best day today that, uh, that I could have. You need to think about. But, you know, the Lord is doing a work in me. And the Lord is taking me somewhere, praise God. So I'm just thankful, amen. I'm just thankful to be a child of God. I'm just thankful to be on my way to heaven. I'm just thankful for how God's touching me in the services. I don't know about anybody else, but I had myself a good time here Sunday night. Praise God. I went home. It was about one, about 1 o'clock in the morning before I got in the bed. I'm telling you, I was high on the Holy Ghost. I felt power after I got home. Praise God. Praise the Lord. I don't apologize for a moment of it. Praise God. I'm going to rejoice in the Lord. I'm going to be thankful unto the Lord. Praise God. Because I need his joy. I need his peace. Praise God. So I want to meditate upon the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Praise God. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. I was worked up. I got in the bed. My leg's still kicking. Praise God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. But we need to thank on the goodness of the Lord. Amen. Be careful what you feed your heart and feed your mind. Let the God of peace. He's the God of peace, saints of God. He's a God of peace. Amen. Let his peace and his joy fill your hearts. Amen. Anybody else got anything they'd like to add to this? Anybody? I want you to go with me to the book of Acts, chapter 12. I got about 10 more minutes. Acts chapter 12, talking about the story of Peter the night before his execution. Scripture says, And when Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And notice what Scripture says, When Herod would have brought him forth, the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers, bound with two chains, and the keepers before the door kept the prison. And behold, the angel of the Lord came upon him, and a light shined in the prison, and he smote Peter on the side and raised him up, saying, Rise up quickly. And his chains fell off from his hands. Now, this is, this is a night. Peter's getting ready to be executed. Herod's brought him forth to, to execute him. But notice what Peter's doing. Somebody tell me what Peter is doing. Somebody tell me, what's Peter doing? Sleeping. He's laying between two soldiers. How many of you be sleeping when you, if he's laying between two soldiers? Bound with two chains and got keepers before the door. So, Brother Jeff, Peter's got soldiers all around him. But he's sleeping. You talk about a man being at peace. I'm going to tell you right now, I'd be fit to be tied. Praise God. I'd be like Paul and Silas. I'd be singing up a storm. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. I would. I'd be like, Lord, get me out of here. Praise God. You're a God of deliverance. Amen. Praise God. If you can deliver Paul and Silas, you can send an earthquake by my way. Amen. But Peter's sleeping. He's, he's laying between two soldiers. He's, got, he's bound with two chains. He's got guards at the door. And the man is sleeping. He's getting ready to be executed. But the man is sleeping. I want you to know, saints of God, that is the peace of God. That is the peace of God. I bless it, God, you can sleep in a storm. You can sleep in a battle. Praise God, you can be at rest in your storm when the joy and the peace of God fills your heart and fills your mind. I want you to know tonight you can be an overcomer. You can rest in your storm and rest in the heat of your battle through and by the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Amen. One more time, give the Lord praise tonight. Amen. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Psalmist of David said in Psalms chapter 3 and verse 5, he said, lay me down and sleep. I wait. For he said, the Lord sustain me. Aren't you thankful tonight the Lord is keeping us? Amen. You should be at peace just for the fact to know, hey, the Lord is keeping me. He's keeping me. Praise God. He puts food on my table. He puts clothes on my back. Praise God. He gives me the strength to get up in the morning and go to work. He's keeping me. Praise God. The Lord is my keeper. That's what the psalmist of David was saying. He said, for the Lord sustain me. So, so I lay down and I slept in peace because the Lord is my keeper. Amen. I want you to know tonight the Lord's still our keeper tonight. Amen. He's still our keeper tonight. He said, I will not be afraid of ten thousands of peoples that have set themselves against me round about. I've got peace because the Lord is keeping me. Amen. Praise God. But notice Peter's deliverance. The Lord delivered him, sent an angel unto him, and walked him out of every gate of that prison cell. 
every gate and took him down to the church house, down to Rhoda's house. They was praying down there without ceasing. Amen. Read your Bible. They was praying down there for him without ceasing, Brother Gary. They got knocking on the door. They thought the woman went crazy. She says, Peter, Peter's at the door. I want you to know tonight that the peace of God will make you an overcomer. Amen. He's laying between soldiers all over him, but he still had peace. And the Lord, amen, sent deliverance under Peter's way. Praise God. Anybody got anything to like to add to this tonight? Anybody? Yeah. 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 Can't be Peter. He's in jail. Amen. If we just believe. If we just believe. Amen. Let his peace fill our hearts in believing. That's what scripture says. Now that God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing. How many believes God's going to move for you? Amen. I say, how many believes God's going to move for you? How many believes God's going to move in your home? In your workplace, whatever need you got, God's going to move. Praise God. Somebody say, God's going to do it. God's going to do it. I'm at peace, praise God, because I know God is going to move for me, praise God. I'm believing. I know that I know that I know that he's still the God of hope. He's still the God of joy, and he's still the God of peace tonight. Amen. Somebody give the Lord praise tonight. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Believing and believing. You can have the joy and the peace of God. He'll fill, your, he'll, he'll fill your heart if you just believe. Amen. I want to share this with you, and I'm going to let you go here in just a few moments. Colossians chapter 3 and verse number 15. Scripture says, let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Let the peace of God rule in your hearts. Amen. So, Don't focus, don't, don't be, don't be, don't allow yourself to become carnally minded, but be spiritually minded, which brings life and peace. Scripture said to be carnally minded is dead. It'll destroy you. your spiritual being, to destroy your relationship with God. For even Paul said, if to be whatever things is true, the word of God is true, since God. Whatever things is honest, whatever things is just, pure, amen, lovely, of a good report. If there be any virtue, think on these things. If there be any praise, think on these things. Now, I want you to notice verse number 9. Don't, we don't stop at verse 8. But verse number 9 says, those things, he said, which you have both learned, those things which we know in the word of God. Somebody say amen. And received, amen, what you have received from the Lord and heard. Paul tells him, and seen in me, he said, do, do these things. And the God of peace, and the God of peace shall be with you. That's what Paul tells them. Amen. So we need to do what we have learned. Amen. His word is truth tonight. Amen. We need to do what we have received from the Lord. Amen. And what we have heard, faith comes by hearing and hearing by what? Of the word of God. He said, do these things and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. In this, in this world that we're living in, I want you, we need the God of peace. We need the God of peace. Things changing on a daily basis. And, not, and I'm not just... Uh, being a, a broken record, but there's something new every day. Laws changing every day. Not for the good, but for the evil. We need the peace of God. So what does the church need to do? We need to do what we have learned. What we know is true. Amen. Walk, live, and do the word of God. Amen. Live your life by the word of God. Amen. And do what we know is proven. Just like David, when he went to fight Goliath, he said, I've got I've to use this armor. It's not proven. I've got to use what I know is proven. 
Let's use what we know is proven. The Word of God is true and proven tonight. Amen. Let's live by the Word of God. Do what we know is true, what we have heard, what we have received from the Lord. How many's got joy tonight? I'm going I'm to let you go here in a minute. But how many's got joy tonight? I mean, how many's got peace tonight? I mean, how many knows of the love of God? The love of God's in your hearts tonight. Look what we have received by being a child of the King. Amen. We have what the world needs. Let, let this world that's so desperate for peace, let them see the God of peace in you. How do I do that, Pastor? By letting the God of peace rule in your heart. Let the God of peace rule in your heart. Hebrews tells us that he's the king of peace. Praise God. That will make you want to shout. He's the king of peace. Praise God. I'm thankful for the peace of God. Amen. That keeps my heart and keeps my mind in Christ tonight. Amen. I'm thankful that I know the God of hope, the God of peace, that will fill our lives, fill our hearts with joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Anybody got anything to like to add to this before I let you go? Anybody? Praise God. Amen. Stand with me all over the house. I slowed down just a little bit tonight. Amen. A couple of gears. Amen. Sunday morning I'll be wide open. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. I just love the Lord. I love our church. Amen. I love our church. I love being your pastor, me and Christy does. We love our sheep.